All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we got Jacko and Jen coming in the building. Already, psh, I'm already looking at their second stocks in the game one right now. Honestly, this can go into either of these players' way. Jen, Jen tends to be known as like a very patient, neutral type Apollo, and Jacko, like one of Jersey's best players, minus Tweak and maybe minus Leon. But this dude is not a person to be reckoned with at all. All right, go ahead, do the bread and butters. And I like the nair that he did right there. Instead of just immediately going for the back throw, he waited for the spot dodge and immediately just punished him with a sweet spot nair. He can actually get a lot off that too. Whether it's gonna be a tech chase scenario, side B confirms, and you know he 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 gets anything along with his sandwiches if he hits you with that nair. This is just time deal. to shine right there, the reverse bear. All right. Yet again, I like that both of these players, they're not, they're not really feeling tedious to go off the stage quite yet in this game one. They're just going to keep condition just right there. I was just saying that Nair leads into a lot of setups right there. Jack will try to catch him with a soft Nair combo, but not going to work. We're going to take this first stock in. What a dash attack from Jen, knowing that that blaster has a lot of lag after that right there. Jack will probably think in his head right now that was a bad time to do it, bad spacing. And again, speaking of bad spacing, Jack was just going to immediately take it with an up smash out of shield. And now both of these top players are going to have la their final stocks at this game one right here. Oops. All right, patience. The way how I see it is that I feel like Jen, uh, this is going to be a really long set or a really fast set because both of these players are very defensive. Despite that, uh, uh, despite the amount of players that Jen bodies real quick, he's actually very defensive the way how I'll be seeing it. And if you try to time out Jackal, Jackal would take it to the bank along with the time too. When you when you have uh, players that play defensively, especially when it's a defensive player versus a defensive player, what it really comes down to is it's not it's not about defense anymore. It's yeah. who actually has the better offense. Right. Because you already know both players are strong on defense. So what you have to go down to is find your moments just like that. You have to find your moments just so you can get those hits in that lead you to that uh, those good situations. And I like that patience that Jackal had too. Instead yep. of just immediately going to the ledge and just throwing out a forward to or down to it immediately, he stood up between the roll range. Apollo stood onto the platform, dash dance, just to threaten the range of his outburst. And as soon as he reacted to that get up attack and the hitbox was gone, Immediate dash attack came through, and that's going to take nope. Jackal to his game one. It's forced them to commit to an option and then punish. And no, oh, he's not going to run it to P2. Okay. All right. This is no, this is really rare because when normally when Jen plays people, he immediately runs it back to P2. But I guess Jen's a little desperate. He's going to actually that's counter pick it to an actual stage. And Smashville, out of all places, I'm really surprised about this too. Curious of what Jackal really banded and Ooh, almost kills yeah, himself almost by feeding with that right back there. All right, good DI from Jackal. Not gonna, it, it, not gonna immediately go to the uh, top platform. Oh, that shield poked, I believe. Yeah. And this wow, is what I like about doing this matchup because this matchup is very even, but either one of these players can body each other's stocks. That's exactly what I was saying. Because you can, you can tell exactly how they're playing by how well they're spacing around each other. Oh, they my are not God. What an upbeat from Jackal right? at that angle. Jen had that. I, I like the attempt that Jen was going for. Yeah, he had he had it. It was just uh, Jackal picked the exact right choice in yeah. that moment, and we saw what happened. He Jen, the, way, the way how I seen it, Jen tried to threaten his double, Wolf's yeah. double jumps range, and Jackal being just a micro step ahead of him, instead, instead of showing off my jump, I'm just going to immediately yep. up be at that angle. It just to hit you and nice up another up Sliding smash from Jacko smash. yet again. That's a very good that's a very good move from Wolf that oh, yeah. not really too many wolves really do. It's either It also has a big hitbox on the bottom to scoop you up into yeah. it. Yeah. And I know Ooh, people might wait it on ledge there. Ooh, I know people might be hearing me saying that, you know, I say wolves barely use up smash. Let me correct that. Wolves barely use up smash at the most critical of times. That's what I was gonna say. And it's it. like, you know, the, the beginner wolves would just normally they would just spam up smash just to force them to get off you. Yeah. But it's like, you know, a magician never really reveals all of his secrets. But well, if you save that up smash at the right time, at the most crucial conditions that you can do. It surprises everyone. It's cool. That's what I was gonna say. It's, it's, you on like, top. it's like its own mix-up because everyone knows the move is good, so you're gonna look for it. Yeah. But that's why that's the mix-up. It's you wait for it, 
and then when they least expect it, you drop it. Just like how. And the last time I checked, Jen tells me he likes doing this matchup too. So I'm curious to see if Jen's gonna. I'm. Oh, this is when a semis. I believe Jen is definitely gonna well, push it to a tech, game but he three. Just died. Nair, yup, I love that tech. He was ready for it. And right now, Jackal seems to be try looking for, trying to push Jen into a tech scenario. Yeah, and Jen is not falling for it that easily. Nice cross up dash attack. Jen was expecting it to not cross up, but Jackal being another Very step ahead yet again. Jersey's number three, or oh, I believe he ranked up to number two in Jersey right now. But this is oh. still a very, very dominant player in Jersey. Yeah. Nice up tilt from up Jen tilt. right here. Hollow's barely used that either. It's because it's a very committal option. When you when you up tilt, you're so vulnerable for so long because she has to finish it. Right. It comes to the point where I literally call it the every time I yeah. see Apollo do up tilt. And people wonder why I call it the Nairo because when Nairo played at his prime, he really used up yeah. tilt yep. when he really needed to kill somebody with it. I, and I he didn't save it for game five. No, like He would save it for me like, as a game ender, yeah. even if it was game one. So I call it the narrow literally because of that reason. And ever since then, I don't see no other Apollos really utilize it like that besides Jen. But and even then, Jen barely uses up to it. I was going to say that it, it, what it comes down to is what situations do you want to use up tilt in? Yeah. And how often do you get to that situation? It's a rare situation where Palu up tilt is going to be the move you're looking for. Yeah. And even rarer that you're going to realize that and not go for something else that usually leads to more like a nair. Or a fair, right? Or something like a kill, like back air. I like the idea of what some Palos would think is like you know, because in this game, this this the thing called stealing. Wow, he yeah, almost had course. that read, bad spacing from Jackal, but it's not gonna let it affect him. But That's back to what I was saying is just favor like of up tilt because of that stealing. Yeah. So, oh, Good nice frame trap right there, but nice di from Jackal. Jen gonna overcommit. Oh, he couldn't make it back. That commits to the point Wolf, where man. Wolf was very uncomfortable, and I really like that coming from Jackal. Wait, wait. Yo, <laughs> I'm not up. eating it. I'm not gonna eat it. Just wait. I'm not. I just want a picture of it. I just want a picture. <laughs> Dog, bro. Dog, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, why he show me that, right? <laughs> but really came up, messed up the whole train of thought with that. <laughs> but back to the real point is that like I feel like Palos, they very. They, they have a hard time utilizing when to use up till. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Palu, Palu is a really strong character for the sole fact that her toolkit is very, very large. She has right. a tool for almost every situation. It's just up to you to really understand when those tools need to be taken out of the toolbox. Mm. And up till is one of those tools where it, it doesn't have a very often use, but it has a very strong use when yeah. it comes out. So we're going to end it on small battlefield. No, I, I like this I, did, I, I like predicted, this pick. I, pre I predicted the game three happening from these players, but I didn't predict the small battlefield ending it right here. Yeah, but now that now that we're uh, we're looking at it, I really like the small battlefield because both both of these characters really like to be up close. Yeah. And they also really like the platforms for their spacing and when they need to get away. So Palu having uh, oh. being able to be close for those nair combos is really good for her. And Wolf already wants to get in anyway. For yeah. these situations right here where you miss a tech and he can take your life. Yeah, Jen's going to have to watch out for these missed techs because every, almost, uh, almost oh. everyone that plays this game knows that if you miss a tech against Wolf in any scenario, yep. you're dead. You can definitely, and there's a high chance you lose your life. And you can die at center stage pivot. at like 95%. Oh. Wow, what a fire from Jen. Yeah, honestly. And this is what Jen wants. He wants to keep Wolf on top of him in the air despite having a good air acceleration. Speaking but of being again, on top of him, you hit his shield, and that's the up smash. <laughs> you're not spacing your moves right. You're going to get up smash for free. And that's just the that's just the story of defensive players where there's there are very few moves in Smash Bros. that are actually plus on or uh, safe Ooh, on shield. I like the Especially re good moves. So when you come down to two defensive players like this, shielding is so important. Did you just see that? I like the conversion that Jackal. See the way how Jackal is managing his combos right now. He's relying on his his opponent's reactionary DI. Yep. So besides him weaving in and out, which makes his defensive plays really good, when Jackal gets aggressive, he gets really oh, aggressive yeah. to the point where he almost eliminated Gen Stock from him just holding in on his forward there right there. And another up smash coming out from Jackal. The yeah. uses of his up but smashes are very on point right it's now. It's looking like it's looking like. Uh, Jen really wants to use these dash attacks to Ooh, as like a tool to just start racking percent slowly on stage, but he's gotten punished almost every time for them with the up smash out of shield. It seems to me that Jen, the way how Jen's playing it, he's he 
playing it a little impatient. Yeah. And Jack See, like was those like, dash attacks mm -hmm. like that. He's that, getting a little, just that little bit too quick. That micro and he's getting punished is, for it. That micro, spacing, it. that micro spacing is really showing the difference right now yep. in this matchup. And the way how Jack was doing it right now, I'm like, I'm loving the way how he's playing this matchup. Very, very cautious. He's taking his time and he's punishing it accordingly. The minute Palo throws one laggy move and right it, now. Uh, I try to it, go for a regular get up It's read, not but very Jen talked not about, it. but it's also very important that neither of them are rolling very much or air dodging very much. They're really trying to keep as many iframes as they have on their escape options. Because rolling in this matchup is, oh exactly. my god, and air dodging at the wrong time is going to cost you but too. But you see, like before we saw, uh, we saw Jackal roll on the platform to avoid the Palu Ooh, up air. Oh, what a here. conversion from here. Jackal. Jen probably wasn't expecting it because technically yeah. that wasn't really true. That wasn't but that's yet. that's what makes the mix up very scary is that mm -hmm. it's either I get the conversion where I get the fair bear or you're at a high percent, but you DI in the fair. And because you DI in on the fair, now you're in a true 50-50 scenario, yeah. whether you're going to give me the air dodge or you're just going to. Yeah, you just die by back here. And I guess Jen lost the rock, paper, scissors and game also, and just uh, took the back here. Speaking of, we talked about Palo's toolkit earlier. Oh. Wolf also with a really strong toolkit. He's got a really good projectile. Best of, hold on. Best of five out of semis. Okay. Guess monthly's I mean, is it's different. It's the monthly, bro. I thought, I thought, I'm just so used to finals being best of five, but I ain't complaining. We, yeah, we get to see way more games. <laughs> yeah, hey, man, way. we get to see some hype games from these top players. Exactly. And what, what was I saying before? Oh, uh, Wolf's toolkit. Being used to its fullest. Yeah. Wolf has, a, Wolf, now, he, I'm not going to say he has a tool for every situation because, again, getting Wolf off stage is not a good situation for Wolf. Yeah. But when he's on stage, he's able to really take control of the game. Ooh. Like we see Jackal doing here. Ah. He just has so many tools to get you in a situation where you make a mistake and he forces you to and punishes you and takes your stop. That punish was actually very deadly from Jackal, but this fight, the fact that he missed spaces forward here for that missed yep. tech at the right side of the stage, Jen's going to have just slightly one more chance to live it a little longer. But as, going back to what you were saying, Wolf does have an answer to every single matchup and every single kit, but the minute he's off stage, exactly. that's, when, that's when a lot of Wolves really get to show you the differences between an actual Wolf and then like every other average yeah, Joe. Right? And I don't like the way how Jackal's recovering right now, but I like that Jen's taking full advantage of it right now. The thing that Wolf can, that I want to see Jackal do differently and the way how he's recovering back to these stages is he just needs to shine. When Paolo throws his her fire, Wolf can just throw a shine and he won't get hit at it by it at You're all. Right. Meaning but he won't waste any of his resources. He won't waste a jump. He won't burn an air dodge. It might put him in a little lag, but it will give him enough time to take his take well, more of his time to recover from, and throw an from angle. From what I've seen when Jackal uh Jackal upbees at ledge like that. What he's trying to do is he can't make it normally and side being is gonna put him in so much disadvantage center stage. Yeah. So what he has to do is he has to use the drift after the up B to bring bring him that little bit closer to ledge to grab it. Yeah. And that's why we see Jen uh, making these good uh, explosive flames off of him. Because he knows that well, he's abusing the fact that Wolf really, really needs that up B to get back to stage. Mm. And that's why it's so hard for Jackal to really mix up the recovery. Because when he gets thrown high, Wolf doesn't have many good options to move laterally. But back to, but it's like basically what I was saying is that instead of whenever. As far as we're seeing right now, every time Jen threw a fire as Jackal was yep. off stage, he did some type of defensive option yeah. and gave Jen enough time to adapt to it. It's like, ah, right, you know, I know you're gonna do this, this down a third, etc. But yeah. the play, I, I like, I was saying, like, I wanted to Ooh, see him try. Oh, yep, there yep. we go. Very uncomfortable position, but, oh, but they not good out. enough for he Jen to far. come back. Jen really he wanted to deep. end that man's life. Right I mean, he there. got it. But now he ended his own. Uh, all right, Jackal wasn't expecting a spot dodge, but it's going to get a punish right here. Dash attack to attack yep. in. All right, does it? Not I like that. In, I like that what Jen did right there. Not not too many people would have noticed what he did. It, and they were just complaining about just <laughs> him mashing. What Jen did right there with that fear is that he put himself at a less laggable situation. Yep. For that way, he won't be forced to jump and won't be forced to tech at it's, all. It's the same principle as back airing out of tumble. Yeah. So you just, just try to take out advantage of every frame you get. Right. You want to throw out some type of hitbox that if you know your character well enough, you yep. can save you'll yourself what, in these crucial scenarios. You'll know scenarios. exactly what move you need to make sure you do not die in a situation and you're still uh, able to make something happen. Down throw. All right. Good DI from Jackal finally. This whole time and <laughs> in the, in the, in the rest of the set, Jackal kept DIing in. And Jen, I'm surprised Jen wasn't punishing consistently on that DI in. But I, I like doing that sometimes because most Palus would actually expect the other way around. Yeah. And just like that, Jackal's going to take the There's set 3-1. On again. Every 
almost 98 percent of the games that they did would just end it with an up smash Game and one. I can tell you almost every single time it was dash attack on shield, yeah. Halo gets punished with up smash.